Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Deep Dive Knowledge Talk. What motivated you to delve into the fundamental mechanisms behind Lumiere and Sora, specifically focusing on the space-time unit and diffusion transformers used in these AI models? Understanding the fundamental mechanisms behind Lumiere and Sora, particularly focusing on space-time unit and diffusion transformers, was motivated by the need to uncover the innovative technology driving these AI models. By diving into these mechanisms, we aimed to comprehend how these models generate videos from text descriptions and images. The space-time unit allows for flexible generation of videos in different sizes, durations, and resolutions. While diffusion transformers enable the transformation of noisy patches into coherent restities through a process akin to sculpting a statue from a marble block. These mechanisms play a crucial role in advancing AI capabilities and reshaping how we interact with visual media. How do the space-time unit framework used in Lumiere and the diffusion transformers employed in Sora contribute to the creation of high-quality videos from text prompts? What specific aspects of these mechanisms enhance the video generation process in each AI model? Space-time unit and diffusion Transformers play crucial roles in enhancing the video generation process in Lumiere and Sora, respectively. In Lumiere, Go, Amnihadan, Wane. The space-time unit framework enables the model to determine object locations within the video's spatial context and track their movement and transformation over time. This allows Lumiere to generate videos in a seamless manner by creating frames that flow into each other, resulting in a cohesive and realistic motion. The advanced spatial and temporal processing capabilities of space-time UNET contribute to the generation of 80 frames in Lumiere, surpassing the 25 frames produced by other models, like stable video diffusion. On the other hand, Sora utilizes diffusion transformers to generate images in the video. Diffusion Transformers operate on space-time patches of video, latent codes to create restities of the new video. By applying diffusion processes to noisy patches placed in the desired arrangement, Sora can efficiently generate high-quality videos from text descriptions. This approach provides flexibility in terms of video size and duration, making Sora adaptable to various video generation requirements. In summary, the space-time unit framework in Lumiere excels in spatial and temporal processing to create seamless motion in videos, while diffusion transformers in Sora are effective in generating high-quality videos through the processing of space-time patches. How do the different approaches of Lumiere and Sora using space-time unit and diffusion transformers, respectively, reflect their unique strategies in handling spatial and temporal consistency in video generation from text prompts. What are the distinctive strengths of each approach in achieving high-quality video synthesis? Lumiere and Sora approach video generation from text prompts differently when it comes to handling spatial and temporal consistency. Lumiere uses the space-time UNET STUNIT model which focuses on processing objects' locations and movements simultaneously. It generates videos in one continuous process, ensuring that objects are placed correctly in space and time throughout the video. On the other hand, Sora employs diffusion transformers, which work by refining the video frame by frame through a diffusion process gradually. The use of space-time UNET in Lumiere prioritizes capturing the spatial and temporal relationships within the video as a whole, leading to global temporal consistency. This means that the motion and transformations of objects in the generated video are more realistic and coherent, especially in longer videos. In contrast, diffusion, transformers and Sora allow for leveraging diverse visual data during training resulting in more generalist and varied video generation. This approach excels in handling complex scenes and can offer a more diverse output. Da. In summary, Neo, Bye. In summary, Lumiere's Stunit focuses on ensuring overall consistency in object movements and placements throughout the video, leading to high quality results in terms of realistic motion. On the other hand, Neo, 
Sora's diffusion transformers excel in leveraging diverse training data to produce varied and complex video outputs, showcasing strengths in generating diverse and dynamic visual content. How do the unique architectural designs of Lomir's space-time unit and Sora's diffusion transformers impact the efficiency and effectiveness of video synthesis from text prompts? What key architectural elements or components in each model contribute to their ability to generate high-quality videos with spatial and temporal consistency? The unique architectural designs of Lumiere's space-time unit and Sora's diffusion Transformers impact the efficiency and effectiveness of video synthesis in interesting ways. Imagine you are building a puzzle. Lumiere's space-time unit is like a big picture puzzle where you can see the whole image and all its details at once. It helps put all the pieces together efficiently by looking at the whole story in one glance. On the other hand, Sora's diffusion transformers are like small puzzle pieces that you have to assemble one by one. It may take more time to put them together, but you can focus on each piece carefully. In terms of efficiency, Lumiere's space-time unit can quickly create the entire video from text in one go, which is like solving a puzzle in one swift motion. This can be faster for generating videos, especially shorter ones. In contrast, Sora's diffusion transformers build each frame step by step, which may take longer but allows for more detailed adjustments and fine-tuning along the way. In regard to effectiveness, Lumiere's approach provides a holistic view of the video from the beginning, ensuring consistency and coherence throughout the entire video. It's like painting the whole picture at once to make sure all colors match perfectly. Sora's method on the other hand offers flexibility and adaptability during the creation process, allowing for creative changes at each frame level. It's like adjusting each puzzle piece to fit perfectly before moving on to the next. So, depending on the specific needs of the video synthesis task, the efficiency and effectiveness of using either Lumiere's space-time unit or Sora's diffusion transformers can vary. Lumiere may be quicker, and provide a more unified output. While Sora allows for more detailed control and adjustment throughout the video generation process. How do the spatial and temporal processing capabilities of the space-time unit in Lumiere and the diffusion transformers in Sora impact the overall quality and realism of the generated videos from text prompts? Can you elaborate on how these processing capabilities contribute to creating visually compelling and coherent video outputs in each AI model? The spatial and temporal processing capabilities of the space-time unit in Lumiere and the diffusion transformers in Sora play a crucial role in creating visually appealing and coherent video outputs from text prompts. Let's break it down into simpler terms. Imagine you have a magic camera that not only takes pictures but also predicts how things will move in those pictures. The space-time unit in Lumiere is like that magic camera. It looks at the whole story you wrote and predicts how objects will move throughout the video. This helps in making the video flow smoothly, just like a real-life story. On the other hand, the diffusion transformers in Sora work differently. They take one part of the story at a time, like puzzle pieces, and slowly put them together to create the full video. It's like solving a puzzle where each piece reveals a bit more of the story. Now, when it comes to creating amazing videos from text, the space-time unit in Lumiere helps by ensuring that all the movement in the video looks natural and connected. This means that when a character moves, or an object changes place. It happens in a way that makes sense, just like in real life. This enhances the overall quality and makes the video more realistic and engaging. On the other hand, the diffusion transformers in Sora bring diversity and complexity to the videos. By putting together different pieces of the story gradually, these transformers can handle a wide range of visual information, making the videos more versatile and rich in detail. This diversity adds depth to the videos and makes them visually compelling. 
So, in simple terms, the space-time unit in Lumiere ensures smooth and realistic movement throughout the video, while the diffusion transformers in Sora add complexity and richness to the visual details, making the videos more engaging and exciting to watch. How do the predictive capabilities of the space-time unit in Lumiere and the gradual assembly approach of diffusion transformers in Sora influence the storytelling and visual coherence of the generated videos from text prompts. Can you elaborate on how these predictive and gradual assembly processes contribute to creating immersive and captivating video narratives in each AI model? Sure, I will try to explain this in a simple way. Imagine you are telling a story using pictures. Space-time unit in Lumiere is like having a magical camera that can predict how the objects in your story will move and change over time. It helps in creating a smooth flow of events in your video, making it look like a real story unfolding. On the other hand, the gradual assembly approach of diffusion transformers in Sora is like putting together a puzzle. It captures one piece of the story at a time and gradually builds up the full picture. This approach may require more effort to ensure each piece fits perfectly, but it allows for more control over the details in each frame. So, and now, the predictive capabilities of space-time unit help in maintaining a consistent storyline and smooth transitions between scenes in Lumiere-generated videos. Meanwhile, the gradual assembly approach of diffusion transformers in Sora allows for more detailed control over each frame, but may require additional effort to ensure overall coherence in the video storytelling. How do the predictive capabilities of space-time UNET in Lumiere and the gradual assembly approach of diffusion transformers in Sora impact the coherence and flow of the narrative in the generated videos from text prompts? Can you discuss how these mechanisms influence the storytelling aspect and overall viewer engagement in the videos produced by each AI model? 